We'll come back. Legendary musicians Joe Nina, Jimmy Zulu, and several others are set to receive the Lifetime Achievement Awards at the South African Music Awards later this month. Rightly so. The award recognizes musical giants who significantly contributed to the development, upliftment, and advancement of the South African music industry over at least two decades. Well, the musical geniuses join me now. In studio, I have Joe Nina, while Jimmy Lutlu joins me now virtually from Maputo. And because of the logistics uh, of it all, uh, Joe Nina, let me start with, uh, with Brad Jimmy there from uh, Mozambique, just in case, you know, anything happens to the line and the connection. In your own words, Jimmy Lutlu, um, I don't imagine that you do this for the plaudits, but I do imagine that it comes from deep within you um, a, a, as an expression, the, mu the, the music that you produce, but it must mean something. Um, the, the, that expression that comes to mind that people should be given their roses while they still can smell them. Right now, that's exactly what is happening. What does it mean to you? Well, uh, at first, and mostly, I'd like to thank God for the gift uh, you know, Jimmy Lewis without God is nothing. Jimmy Lewis without that guitar, that it's a gift from God is nothing. Uh, I love to thank God for his gift and for everything that he has done in my life. To me, it means the world. To me, it means a lot. But it means also that I have so much challenge ahead of me, which I need, still need to do. Uh, being a musician, uh, basically we're not like, you know, superstars, we're chasing for uh, a quick income. You know, it's a journey which God has prepared for you. But also, you know, it's about leaving the legacy and making an example in our societies. So for me, I am very humble and to say thank you to the mighty and to my family and to everyone who shaped my life as a musician, yeah. as Jimmy Lulu. Thank you so much. And to Prajonin, pra, uh, I mean, we've been working together. I remember in Brentfontein with Uchkapa Repir. Uh, we've been together in the studio. Joe, I just want to say, uh, God has been great to us. We need to be humble and grateful. And listen, con congrats to you. And yeah. congrats to Black Coffee. Oh, uh, Murubat, Thank you so much, guys. Sure. Johnny, the same question to you. What does it mean to you? <laughs> uh, more than anything, I'm humbled. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, I'm extremely humbled, you know. Uh, yeah. Like you said, it's very important to smell those roses while we're still alive. Mm. I've been preaching it for, for years, you know. Uh, we've lost some of the great musicians that I also worked with uh, without them getting this uh, honor. Uh, uh, but I sh I'm very excited more than anything. And, and mm. I hope it just doesn't happen to me. It must also happen to the other musicians that are still alive, that yeah. are still within the industry. Uh, that have achieved to date because there's other also old musicians that I think they deserve this, you know. Yeah. And uh, yo, I'm grateful, I'm very excited. Uh, I think it, in a way, it has also revived my career, sure. you know, to the youth of today. Who, when you say Juni Navarro, say who? <laughs> Is that even possible? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just thinking about it. That, can that even happen? <laughs> I'm just thinking about it, but um, like, like he says, you know, it's, it's, it's humbling. Um, for me also, it's, it's a, it, this award is for my father, may sure. soul rest in peace, and my mother uh, for, for raising me to be the man I am today. Yeah. And uh, for my, my father for teaching me music from the early age of four years and, yeah. and pushing me very, very hard to be where I am today. And this one is, is really for him. And for all, the, for all the legends that I worked with, your Brenda Farsi, yes. African jazz pioneers, Prastompi Mavi Unomganga, uh, Prahuma Sikela, Mamsbongi mm. Kumalo, uh, yo, the list is uh, Prastif Kekana, Pranana yeah. Koyote, sure. Rechi Kapapiri. The list is so endless. And I'm grateful because I think 
because I started the music very young. Yeah. They, 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 they held me all the way through the journey of the music industry. And I'm grateful. And once again, to Jimmy as well, congratulations, my brother. Yeah. I remember very well when we were working with uh, Rich Kapapir. He was my business partner then. Yeah. And it was fun. You know, everything we did was exciting. Everything we did was beautiful. And yes, I'm grateful to my ancestors and the Lord above us all. What does, uh, Johnny, if I stick with you for a moment, what are you hoping will be um, the uh, what what you bequeath and 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 you leave uh, to the next generation of musician, particularly as it relates to the style and genre of music that you you are known for? Yes. Um, it may not necessarily be exactly the same, but I do imagine that you know there are youngsters that are coming up and they are looking up to you to say, if I can take this and take that and and, and that originality, that expression, that that pride and heritage from the likes of Joe Nina, from the likes of Jimmy Zulu, what is that for you? Um, you know, I'm really hoping that this uh, uh, award and also that the fact that I'm also nominated for my 30th album 2020. Yes. This is very exciting. Yeah. Uh, but I'm hoping that the, the, the up and coming musicians or the musicians that are out there already and young, uh, they could learn a few things from the productions that we've done from back then until to date. You know, uh, one is longevity. I think longevity is very crucial. And as much as music has become uh, too commercial, yeah. Uh, I wish they could also learn that uh, the messages within the music are also very important. Like the things we're going through in our country now, it's, they're very, very scary, you know? It's yeah. your load shading, yeah. uh, the rapes, people being shot in the taverns and all of that. That is very, very painful. And it's, it's, it, it, it hurts me to not see musicians get together and do songs like we did uh, songs for, for, for uh, gender-based violence, with Prapolondi Machen, Prastiv, Praplapsi. Um, there's so much I want to believe that they would learn from what we do without mm. them changing their style, because it's yeah. their style. But if they can just put together production and take care of production and learn to play more instruments than just sampling, you know, yeah. I think it will also change the color and the shape of our industry. Because yeah. at this point in time, it has gotten extremely monotonous. Jimmy, Zuzu, let me ask you exactly the same <coughs> question. And perhaps you can weigh in on the conversation that uh, Brajo has gotten us started off on, uh, on uh, around uh, just being connected to the issues of the day. Uh, you, you've got young people that look up to you. Uh, there's this young man who did a song uh, that's called Jimmy Zuzu. His name is Gabza the Small. <laughs> so that already shows you that this young people are looking to you uh, for, 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 as their load star? No, you know, uh, like who Prajoy was saying, uh, we're going through some difficult moments, Emzans. Uh, the whole Africa really failed, our leaders failed us, but we need to put our heads and move forward. Talking to the musicians, um, I can only share, you know, my experience to them. To say, you know, for those who actually focus on the jazz music, uh, it will be nice if you guys can find that voice. It's like, you know, when I look at the young musicians today that are doing jazz, they're like, you know, coping 100% American jazz. Bo Moses Muledekwa, Bo Zim, you know, I mean, those guys, they had their own voices. I mean, with the knowledge of the harmony theory that we get yeah. from this art form. We do seem so to have together, lost. I agree with you. Yeah. But Jimmy, we seem to be losing you there. Uh, the connection uh, seems to be failing us at this point just as well because uh, we are completely out of time. I do need to thank you uh, for this opportunity, Brajo. Thank you for coming through. Thank you, thank you. Maria very Podesta? Much. Where, is, where is Maria Podesta? You'll be, where is she? You'll be surprised in this album. <laughs> uh, 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 
when I listened, I, You'll did, never leave that I, one I, I did a remake of Maria Podesta with Moti yes. from Mikasa, yeah. which is very beautiful. Yes, I think I've heard it. Actually. Yes, I yes, yes. Heard. And I've got a little Maria Podesta now. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so this year is a beauty for me. Fantastic. Thank Congratulations you so much. to both of you thank and you. all the other artists. Thank you very much. One. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right. Those are the music veterans and legends of our country there, Joe Nina and Jimmy Ludwig, in conversation with me.